in the enforcements of remittance of revenue into the consolidated revenue fund of the federal standing the name of the leader honorable ibrahim babangida honorable hey, is honorable babangida ibrahim representing malum fashi kafur fair consultancy and from katana states mr speaker i move for the second reading of a bill for an act to amend the fiscal responsibility act 2007 to provide for the expansion expanded scope of borrowing power to the government repeal the fiscal responsibility act 2007 and enact the fiscal responsibility bill to provide for prudent management of the national resources, ensure long-term macroeconomic stability of the national economy, secure greater accountability and transparency in fiscal operations within the medium-term fiscal policy framework, the establishment of fiscal responsibility commission to ensure the promotion and enforcement of the national economic objectives, to enhance the power of the commission in the consolidated revenue fund of the federation and to provide penalties for violations of the provisions of the bill and establish a fiscal expansionary commission and to promote long-term economic growth through greater transparency and accountability in fiscal operations of government. Increase government spending of infrastructure, budget process, reform, and for other related matters, I so move, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. On the repeal of Fiscal Responsibility Establishment Act 2007 and the reenactment of Fiscal Responsibility Establishment Bill to, among other things, ensure the promotion and realization of national economic objectives and for other related matters. Uh, honorable colleagues, this bill is a consolidated bill. It was sponsored by co-sponsors, three of our members. And in all cases, each member requests for refill or enactment of the act. This is to show the level of deficiency existing in the present act. Right, honorable speaker, honorable colleagues, the foregoing country economics, uh, country cross-country survey reveals the weaknesses of our fiscal responsibility commission which required the strengthening by a more dynamic, realistic, and vibrant legal framework that seeks to empower the Commission to ensure effective monitoring, compliance, and fiscal disciplines in public management expenditure. The bill is therefore proposed to refuse the existing act and to enact a new one that repositions the Commission to achieve its statutory functions in furtherance of our national economic objectives. Honorable colleagues, the objective of this piece include, among others, A, the bill seeks to strengthen the power of the Commission by enlarging its functions, which is beyond the contemplation of the existing Act, and thus give room for proper utilization of the Commission. The bill also reduces the composition of membership of the Commission for effective performance. The bill also introduced the office of the secretary to head the administration of the commissions as against the present practice where the chairman of the commission acts as an accounting for officer of the commission. The bill also provides what the medium term expenditure from MTF should contain being in details, in context, and in forms. The bill also makes it mandatory for the Minister of Finance to make public consultation while preparing the medium term expenditure framework as against the current practice of making the consultation optional. In addition also, additional institutions are added to the list of those who should put input while preparation of the medium term expenditure framework. The bill has also gone further to provide limit for the preparation of medium term expenditure framework which is latest by August, and also the period for the submission, preparation, and submission of proposed budget to the Federal Executive Council, which is latest by September. And borrowing also, the bill also seeks to provide for a consolidated debt profile of the medium-term expenditure framework, 
and also provide a borrowing limit for federal, state, and local governments. The current enforcement provision in the existing Act is also inadequate, and therefore the bill provides for an in-depth enforcement procedure where punishments and sanctions will be meted out of any person who either directly or indirectly absolves the commissions from performance of its duties. Right, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Colleagues, this bill has 57 clauses and is divided into 14 parts. It has written the structure, arrangement, and sequence of the repeal acts but contain more adequate provisions that reflect current realities of public financial management in Nigeria. This repeal and enactment has no any cost implication because the commission is already in existence. In conclusion, therefore, right honorable speaker, honorable members, it is very clear that the existing act suffer multiple defects and inadequacies to render the commission both inefficient and mere toothless backing dog. It is equally important to note the inadequacies in the act are numerous that cannot be caused by simple amendment. And see, in this, why we decided to call for refill and adjustment because out of 57 sections of the act, existing act, 45 sections are affected by amendments. Right, Honorable Speaker, members, the bill seeks to repeal the act and have it reenacted is timely, and for all intents and purposes will defend Nigerian macroeconomic stability. I therefore urge you to support the bill so that it will be read for the second time. Thank you very much. It was built and uh, it was earlier consolidated with the bill sent by the executive, which was withdrawn and replaced. So we're putting everything together and um, referring it to Committee on Finance for further legislative action.